Welcome, my friends. This is Peter Barniati of Human Art Studios, and this is Making Comics and Art, episode 293. And let's do some of this. If you're watching this now or later, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I am up to, what is it, 1,108 subscribers, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I'll say, if you want to support my work, support me on patreon.com slash Peter I am uh, up to, I forget, like seven? I don't know. I got one more patron, so that's awesome. And um, not today, but uh, I'll be back tomorrow inking Beowulf which is on Indigo, and that's the link, and all the links are down below in the video description box. So please go check them out. Uh, so today I wasted a lot of time. Um, <laughs> I, um, yeah, I've tried to put, it, put together a fancy post, and it meant resizing a lot of artwork and I don't know a quick way to do that. So sort of gave it up, but I will share it with you. And I have some artwork. Um, yeah, I'm going to post tomorrow. That's for, for sale. Uh, actually, I'm not going to post it with prices or even give you prices tonight. I might, I might say a couple of prices, but, um, uh, it's critical. <laughs> it's critical that I pay some bills come Monday. Uh, I've been looking for work, inking work, blah, blah, blah. Um, sort of in, in this window of, you know, going like I'm directing my efforts to sort of uh, self-publishers and, and small publishers in an effort to get some work, but not, I don't want to be tied to, you know, a company for a long time or whatever. Um, right now, as I mentioned previously, it looks like next month I'll be going to Florida with family for two months. So uh, it puts me in a, in a, in a weird position. Um, but yeah, let me, let me share some stuff. Uh, let me share this first. Do, 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 do. And I got some news coming up. Let's see. Is this it? Yeah. No, no, not, no, not that. Um, oh, wait, where is it? All right, let me try this again. Hey, Claire. Hey, welcome, welcome. And Shadow Hall Talks. Hello, Peter. Retro Palmiati. Thanks for beer. Um, yeah, let me see. Uh, share screen. Where's the window? Is it this one? No. Why isn't it coming up? Uh, 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 no, no. Should be. Oh, I think I know. Hold on, folks. Yeah. Should work now. All right. I'm a professional, as you can tell. Window. There we go. All right. Here we go. So, uh, the following, these are covers and uh, pinups I've done. Uh, most of this is within the last year. Um, and is also a couple of things that I penciled in. So, uh, we'll go through it and I'll describe what each one is. So, um, this, and I believe it's in sequence. So I did six covers for a book called American 
Alchemist anthology. Um, and it doesn't doesn't look like it's going to happen this year. It might happen early next year. We'll see. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll let everybody know <laughs> once it happens. But uh, I did six covers. And I believe he's, he's going to put three on book one and three on book two. Uh, probably crowdfund uh, just the first book, at, you know, when he, when he goes live. So... Uh, Here's one of the covers and the artist names. I don't remember offhand, but uh, this one was pretty fantastic. Uh, then uh, this artist is, um, I'm not going to try to pronounce his name, but he, he's a fantastic artist. Unfortunately, he passed away. Uh, Might have been a year and a half ago, something like that. Uh, but he did some incredible work, and it was fantastic to work on. Uh, this is another one, another artist, uh, same project, American, American Alchemist. Um, and I believe it's like sort of wrestling slanted, fantasy wrestling. Um, and this is uh, yet another cover from the project. Uh, I saw, what did I see? This I think this this cover I've I've seen colored, and it looks freaking fantastic. So I'm not, I don't I don't know the cover's name offhand, but uh, can't show you that until uh, until we get close close to the crowdfunder. Uh, and this came out a little small, but uh, you know, it's a little fuzzy. But this was another one of the covers, and then this is my work. So this is something I, I penciled and inked myself. I really love the way it came out. Had a blast working on it. Love Alien, the movie, uh, and Aliens. Um, and uh, the creature design is fantastic. You know, a whole lot of things about that movie. Well, both of those movies are super cool. Um, I'll be making this into a print. I finally got the high res file uh, and this and something else that, that you'll see that comes up will, will pop up at the end. Uh, I'm going to be making two prints. So that's, that's the first one. And I'll be doing this one in black and white. I did get it colored years ago, but um, because the color file I got was small, I, I tried printing it out. Uh, I think it's 11 by 17 and it looks too dark. Uh, and frankly, I, I like it better in black and white. <laughs> so it will be black and white. Uh, oh, this is another American Alchemist cover. Uh, fantastic art. Had a blast working on these covers. And this is something I should be getting in a mail soon. This is a uh, Ballad of the Celestials. And uh, this was the single single cover, and I also did a wraparound cover, uh, minus sort of the the thick lines around the uh, sort of smoke in the background with the guy spinning the thing. Um, that was just colored. They went with a color effect instead. Uh, but I uh, really like, had a blast working on this. Um, that was Dirk, Dirk's pencils, my inks, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll do s some more at some point. Uh, it's really, really great working with them. This is from Tragedy. Um, I think this was uh, this and another piece I, I did for Philip Russet um, were uh, originally just prints for issue one, but they he made them into. Uh, covers for issue two. So I inked a piece over his wife. Uh, I don't have this in, in my batch, but um, this is um, Carlos Ramos. Uh, did the pencils, my inks. Uh, really like Carlos's work. He's a good artist. Uh, this was a homage cover. Uh, Alan Goldman uh, pencils, my inks. With uh, black and white on the left, in front center, we got uh, 
the relentless tin soldier on the right is she behind she is pit and in center on top um is rascal that's uh, dan frago's character so a whole bunch of uh cg characters there that's uh, fantastic cover uh, a lot of work <laughs> all, all, those, all those lines in the background take me forever uh then this this was something i, I pencil and ink myself uh it's already sold uh well so is the alien piece um but just uh you know i really want to do more stuff like this where i just come up with an original idea and take it to its fullest and and just take my time with it um Actually, the alien piece took, took me, I think, all in all, two days, maybe three. I mean, you know, like a two-hour stream here, two-hour stream there, and maybe another two hours on it. Uh, but this one I took much more time on because I really I, – I, I knew I wanted to do the girl, uh, but then I added everything around her. <laughs> But it was a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, it's in some fans' hands. Uh, and then this is Dale Hume, of course, Reaper Destroyer. Um, you know, I mentioned uh, yesterday's show that I, I chatted with uh, Dale, and he thought my inks were beautiful. So that made my day, made my year. <laughs> it, was, it was fantastic to hear. Uh, and, and we'll be chatting some more. Maybe I can get him on my channel at some point. Uh, it would be excellent to talk with him. Uh, this is Global Frequencies Mavericks. Um, and Ricardo Silva, who is the artist on uh, Tragedy, uh, penciled the, this cover for them, and I inked it. I actually inked this twice. Uh, this one was the first time. I, I could tell the difference. Uh, I, I had problems with my tools when I inked it the second time and came out. And I used a little more. Uh, used a little marker in the second one because repeated graphs weren't working and blah blah blah. But uh, I had a fantastic time working on this, and it's a great cover and looks fabulous in color. And those books should be coming soon. Uh, Frequency Girl is wrapping up a lot of books and, and extras. Uh, this one is another Relentless Tin Soldier. On top is, what is it, uh, Phantom Shadow. Uh, another Alan Goldman cover. Um, I believe this is the first time I inked Alan, and I love, love, love this cover. Uh, the background is excellent. Um, did I? Yeah, I think I, I believe that's that's um, no, no, I still got that cover, that's still available. Okay, that's that's in my pile, I'll, I'll show you soon. Uh, this is from uh, Dave Brink, um, and and his. Team of Heroes, um, blanking, what is the, Safeguard, Safeguard is the, the, the group's name, and they all have different individual names, which I, I, <laughs> I couldn't tell you, but uh, it was a fantastic cover, uh, a lot of that detail took me forever, but uh, came out fantastic, and, and, and looks really good in color as well. Um, then this was Lee Oaks uh, for Belmont Press for Smokes the, the Fox. And, uh, yeah, it's a homage to a Iron Man cover, of course, when, you know, Tony Stark was drinking uh, that famous, famous cover. So that's why it says after Bob Layton. Um, I worked with Bob back in the day at Valiant. <laughs> Uh, this is a, another tragedy cover. Um, do, 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 do. This was issue two, was it? Yeah, I think it was. 
issue two or issue three uh, cover. Maybe you can find out, but go pick it up. <laughs> But uh, this was fantastic. I, I freaking love the city backdrop, and she she looks awesome. And uh, yeah, it looked great in color. Uh, it's so much fun to work on. I, I don't I don't shy away from doing busy backgrounds. <laughs> uh, it, it's my forte. It's my forte. Uh, then this was something crazy and. Uh, Something I, I, I also sold, um, just came up with a quick concept and and just threw it down on a page and, and <laughs> had a lot of fun with just the kind of weird line work and, and weird character. Um, and yeah, and, and sold that piece as well. Uh, I should have put a date on it, but I forget. Um it was a couple of years back or whatever it was. It's on my it's on my Instagram. You could probably find it there. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, I, I love doing my own strange art. <laughs> it's fun. Uh, and then this is Dean James and me um, and Dean and, and myself and and Lee, otherwise known as K Kimosabi, will be doing a, a book. And it looks like it's going to be next year that we'll be diving into it. And that's uh, it's going to be a book called The Sinner, which is like a superhero vigilante type dealio, probably probably close to like the Punisher kind of character. Um, but this character is well, you probably know who this character is. I, I, some Japanese Japanese name, I believe. I, I'm not going to be able to remember offhand but uh dean did a crazy ass job and there was a lot of a lot of fun in the ink and then this so i'm going to be making the alien piece uh, previously you've seen into a print and this also will be a print so this is just flats on my aquaman piece um but Allison McGlon, uh, my good friend and partner in crime, because we're going to be working on a book together as well. Uh, her, me, her, and uh, Lori Calcaterra um, will be diving into a project uh, more, more next year. Um, I, I have a lot, a lot I wish to accomplish next year. So, um, But yeah, excited to see uh, the finished colors on this piece. And uh, next, when I get some cash, I'm going to put an order in for this and the alien piece so we can, uh, so I can get, get copies of, of those two prints and, and start selling both of those very, very soon. So let me stop sharing this. Do, 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 do. And actually, um, let me do this. I'm going to change my camera. Okay, so hopefully and we'll, I'll get into that in a second. Let me, hello, hello. Okay, so I've been missing the camera, the <laughs> comments, but looks super cool, nice stuff. Uh, I like this one. <laughs> Very cool. Not sure which one, but uh, and then uh, Claire says your backgrounds look incredible. Thanks. Yeah. So, uh, so this is what I got available for right now. Um, so this retro piece, uh, pencil by Gaz Gretzky, inked by myself. <laughs> it's it's got my for uh, Gaz's first name and my last name. So Gaz Palmiani. That's not a person. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to be selling this piece. So, like I said, all the all these, I'm not going to say prices on most of them. You know, I listed this one previously as 60. I listed this one previously as 30. But I'm taking best fair offers because <laughs> I got to sell, sell, sell. So, um this one, 
Uh, so this is this is 10 by 10. So this is just a little more than 10, and it's a little shorter than 10. So you can figure out the size on that one. Yeah, this is 10 by 10. And I believe the rest, uh, the rest are 11 by 17. So um, you got this one. This is uh, Pencils by David Fort, who is originally going to be the uh, original penciler of, uh, of Retro. Um, but he got uh, in, into doing pinups and, and illustration work. So then I got rich, and he, <laughs> then he did an issue and then got into illustration and, and painting. So I'm going to be penciling issue two on amongst my other duties. Um, but yeah, this is Battle of Celestials, uh, inked over red line. If, if you have a problem with that, um, but it's just beautiful work uh, by Dirk Clay, and uh, that's single cover. So you notice that uh, in my in my scan that this was slightly different. We tried a couple of variations on this sort of effect, and and Dirk was like, nah, "Let me talk to the colors and see what, if we can do do something." Because you know, I think initially how he had it, kind of sort of. Uh, then I threw in some white lines. I don't know. I did three or four variations, um, but the rest of it is gorgeous and. Frankly, you could, you could probably just black this out. <laughs> It'll look better. Uh, that was my thought to him, but, uh, you know. Sometimes little things need little tweaks. Uh, but, yeah, it's a wraparound cover. Uh, not really seeing a price. Uh, whatever whatever best offer comes my way. If, if I could sell any of these, this is definitely good at bills on Monday, which I have to take care of. Um, so this is another uh, Alan Goldman. That's his signature. Maybe maybe it's not filled in black. I forget. Um, then I threw mine in really small over there. Kind of moved it around um, in the, in the final cover. But this was just this is a literally one of my favorite covers I've inked. It's boldness. It's design the buildings everything about this and this is obviously it's inked over red line um and you can see it more the closer you get um but it's a fantastic cover i would love to keep it but you know gotta pay those bills uh so this is yeah dave brings cover uh alan goldman and yeah, best offer gets it. So this is 11 by 17, like I said. And I still got this, the Dale Keon piece that uh, Dale thinks is beautiful work. Um, <laughs> and this, this uh, I, I'm going to let it go for less than I would ask. Um, you know, I, I really would love to ask 300, but uh, I, I'm willing to go much, much cheaper. So if this floats your boat, or if you want to buy it as a gift for somebody, um, then by all means. So there's these tiny lines. It may, let me let me do a little close up here. There's these tiny lines I inked that in my scan kind of disappeared. Uh, so if you look at the get the black and white scan up close, uh, is only li little. A little bit of those lines left uh, but otherwise it's pretty much exactly as and you know while i was inking this i was guessing a little bit how all this fancy line work would look and and once i got rid of the red uh which you know it's not that horrible like yeah i didn't print it dark dark but um it kind of kind of looked like cool with with a red glow um but yeah it the line work looks fantastic you know in the black and white version um 
So very, very happy. So I got a bit of announcement. Um, do I have anything? Let's see. Uh, I got a retro announcement. Um, let's see if this works. Wow, it's taking a long time. <laughs> there we go. This is music. All right, people. Hang, get ready. Let me share. And that's. Oh, it's going to funk out on me. All right. All right, here we go. <laughs> Peter Pomiati's Retro Issue 1, the sign-up page for my project is now live. So it's very basic. Um, pretty much have one image here. Uh, if you if you put in your uh, every, uh, everybody that orders uh, a physical copy will get a trading card as well on sign up. So it would be a, a, a special. Only by signing up right now or before the campaign goes live, which is pretty much probably the middle of next year, the way things have been going. Um, so I got the creative team, created, written, inked, and colors by myself. Uh, it says retro originally created in the 70s. Glorious pencils by Rich Fisher, Dynamic Letters by Carrie Kelly, and Book Production by Karen Lewis Van Fliglio. Uh, in the book, a fan, sec a fan art section, also art by some industry friends. It will be 28 pages of story and 40 color pages in all. Uh, and just, there's, there's my retro logo, which I... Uh, <laughs> Street level hero fighting metal level Rit is the first that humans walked on Earth. He is a sworn protector of the five boroughs of New York City. He's stronger, faster, heals quicker, skilled master, parkour, and a brilliant. It's true. Uh, and that's that's it. That's that's all you. <laughs> It took me a long time for for some reason sizing things up in uh, Indiegogo was more difficult than than when I created a, a Kickstarter page. So I'm gonna have to learn a whole new language in a sense. So that that I worked on that today. I tried to make a, a real fancy post out of uh, like all those covers I, I showed off before. Uh, I might make it tomorrow. I'll make, um, we'll see. Um, but uh, but yeah. So you, let me drop that link. This link. Yeah, I think I got it. Okay. Boop, boop. Let me stop sharing. Okay. And. Huh. All right. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. <laughs> 
All right, so putting this into the chat. And I'll start sharing it out tomorrow, but uh, for now, you find people who watch watched it live or, or will watch it later tonight or tomorrow morning um, will be the first to sign up. So maybe maybe I'll have something extra special for the, the first dozen or so people who sign up. Um, so yeah, so so uh, it's it's about time that I <laughs> I did at least that. Um, you know, I, I'm really considering getting a day job once I get back into town, which will be February next year. Um, you know, I got to finance, uh, everything I'll need to, um, print the book and ship the book and do all the merchandise for, uh, for everybody who pledged on Kickstarter already. So we're talking at least a couple of thousand. So, uh, there you go. Um, I'm thinking, instead of taking on more work i really want to focus on not only finishing retro and and all the merch and, and everything involved but like the dozen or so other books i got in in sort of production um that i was hoping to hey claire signed up awesome awesome um yeah a dozen or so other projects that i really want to get done uh one of which will be a sketchbook um one will be something called alien Are arena which will be a anthology of sorts well i shouldn't say that because it's just going to be two stories uh it's not really an anthology with two stories but um that will sort of be a annual kind of fun project um i got you know, a lot of you have seen um, the Aletha Martinez piece I posted um, that looks like a, a trading card art. Um, me and her got a American sort of manga comic that uh, I have to finish inking. So I'm sort of halfway through with that. Um, and yeah, just... So many other things I, I'd love to talk about, uh, but I've just been, I realized like it's been a, a rough year, like financially speaking, I, I've been making it from month to month to month, um, but it's really hitting me harder uh, the end of this year. Uh, but I'm going to squeak through one way or another. Um, and yeah, my main focus next year is to do the dozen books I wanted to do this year. <laughs> Signed up as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, that's going to be up for a long, long time. Um, and I'll, I'll improve on it once I color some pages up and, and get some, the cover colored, uh, which won't be until next year. I'm going to be. You know, while I'm away with family, I'm going to be reading up, watching videos and uh, and everything about Clip Studio Paint and uh, Procreate uh, so that I can learn, you know, the fundamentals as well as more advanced uh, coloring on both uh, so that when I get back home, I can, I can really take my time and focus on the coloring uh, and finish the odd, odds and ends on, on the other things. Um, but yeah, so that's a lot of what's been going on. Um, tomorrow I'll be once again working on the uh, Beowar cover, inks over uh, Vic King. And, um, and he's going to be buying that piece from me, so that, that won't be available. <laughs> Are you not wrenched? I could have sworn I, I wrenched you a couple of days ago. 
Oh, you, whenever I am. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll go back and, and, and make sure you are. Um, but yeah, I'll, 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 I'll start sharing it out tomorrow. Like I said, for right now, uh, it's for anybody who watches this video. Um, but yeah, I want to, I want to finish that, uh, bail war cover. If not tomorrow, then definitely over the weekend. Um, tomorrow it looks like I'll, I'm going to finally get my windows replaced in my apartment. So that's been like, when's that happening? When's that happening? <laughs> I mean, everywhere I am wrenched. Oh, awesome. Much appreciated. That would be awesome, man. You are the best. Um, and um, so, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm sure like as soon as uh, the day starts, that might be happening. Uh, although, you know, they're going to start at the end of my block and come come my way. So who knows at some point. So I'll probably I'll be, probably be streaming tomorrow night. Um, maybe I'll set it up early so everybody can know, get advanced warning, uh, maybe even get Vic in the stream. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, that, that's it for today. This is just a, a vlog type thing with, uh, various goings ons, various things I'm excited about and yeah, all that jazz, uh, wanted to show off a lot of artwork that maybe the average person hasn't seen that I've worked on. Um, and uh, yeah, everybody have a great, great night. And I'll see you again tomorrow.